Watching the video of George Floyd's arrest has many experiencing trauma. Rex Chapman shows us how we can all be part of the healing process. Just steps away from where protesters manned the memorial for George Floyd, the process of healing is underway. This is our community healing piece, so you guys are more than welcome to jump in. Artist Christopher Deans and his wife Kara are providing a space for people to express their pain, frustration, and even anger through art. So when we start having a dialogue, shaping narratives, and having conversations with one another, it's healing. It brings us to a place to be able to have the conversations about the whys and the what next. Dean says the messages painted by community members help them deal with the trauma they experience. It took a lot of, of humanity away from us. By seeing images of George Floyd's last moments alive over and over again. Well, first of all, in order to deal with the trauma, you got to understand the trauma. Therapist Resma Manakin. When black bodies see experiences of black bodies being ripped apart and murdered, it reminds us on an historical level what has happened and continues to happen to us. Benakin says when dealing with historical trauma, you have to let people express their grief. He believes that's what young people were doing last night, releasing anger associated with the trauma they are experiencing. But he says there are other ways to deal with it. We have to actually open our homes and our buildings and with each other, put our mask on and then just rub the brothers back or rub the sisters back and allow them to begin to move through these pieces and say, I got you, you're all right. You matter to me. I love you. And then move through it. Art is another way to deal with trauma. Manakin hopes what the deans are doing spreads because more healing spaces are needed to turn the feelings of trauma into true healing. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News.